I'm just gonna say it right now, guys. Best mob ever created. What is going on guys? It's Pat and welcome back to another Minecraft video and today we're checking out the essence of the gods mod That's right guys a brand new mod by the same creators of divine RPG And honestly if you've seen that mod you're gonna see the resemblance like right away It's really similar to divine RPG and eternal isles and right off the bat You're gonna notice on the screen a brand new interface, which is freaking huge I'm assuming they're gonna change this maybe make it a little bit smaller because it takes up like half my screen but it says health 100% hunger. It's got like all this stuff. It's got your level, your breathing, your armor, the actual time of day, which I thought was cool. It's 11 of 7 a.m. right now. And your coordinates, which is nice to have right there so you don't have to like smack F. Who did that? Who did that? Don't you mess with me, little mushroom. Don't you mess with me. So right now I'm actually in survival. It looks kind of like creative because they took like all that stuff and shoved it on the right side of the screen. And by the way, guys, this mod just came out today. I love to show you guys brand new content. And if you enjoy that, be sure to subscribe to my channel for more. Um, but yeah, we got to jump into this. There's a lot of stuff to show with this one. It's a pretty big mod already. So in front of us is a bunch of ore. They all look freaking epic. Look at the glowing effect. And these are like the blocks they make. I'm loving the blocks. Like such cool decoration blocks in these mods. All right, guys. So first up, it's going to be the armor. So yeah, there's a bunch of different sets. You're going to notice right here, the Hellstone set. It's going to give you fire protection. This one, the Celestium set. You jump three blocks high, you run faster, and you take no fall damage. Lunium, this one adds four melee damage. I think I think you guys already know. I'll go yellow if I have to for more extra damage. Let's go with this. All right, here we go. So with this one on, guys, I can hit even harder than normal. That was a look. It looks pretty cool, as you can see. And my armor bar is up to 60%. I like how it shows it there now. All right, perfect. So this one, the Shadium set. This one, underwater breathing. The condensed diamond helmet. It lets you freaking fly. We, we just need to grab this. I want to fly. Um, water breathing for the sapphire set and finally for the flarium set it is also going to let you fly I think we'll go with this one though let's fly i want to fly that is so sick so with this i'm gonna do extra damage we'll test it out on like mobs and stuff but the condensed diamond one i can fly let's try it double tap and guys keep in mind i'm in survival wow i fly really quick too this is like amazing speed i'm like superman almost and by the way this is my favorite new mob in all of minecraft it's called boom boom it's got a creeper face on a giant tnt i love it so much but i don't want you to blow up right now yeah that's like my favorite one it's really cool so yeah the armor is epic as you can see there's a bunch of different sets and guys keep in mind i'm not going over the recipes today there is probably maybe 200 items in this mod so definitely download not enough items so you can see all the recipes yourself it's going to make your life a lot less painful and next up, guys, we are checking out the weapons. There's some really cool stuff. I mean, check this out. They all look amazing. I love the models, like, by these creators. Like, they got some good stuff. I give you guys props. So here we've got ones that burn your enemies for 10 seconds. I'm going to grab, like, the coolest ones and show you those because some of these have no effect. So probably no point in showing them. We'll go with this. Poisons them. You got the poison sword. Looks pretty cool, too. Imagine, like, shoving that into someone. Don't think about that. All right, the withering bee sword. Wither effect for 6 seconds. Shadium one. It freezes them. And we also have the Flarium Sword burns for 10 seconds. And I think a lot of these kind of do the same things or don't have any special effects. And a few of them are creative only, like these ones right here. Like, they look awesome. But sadly, right now, kind of a work in progress and only took 4 damage. Not really going to help us. Okay, so a bunch of different weapons here. So we have a bunch of melee weapons. What I want to do is get some mobs. There is so many mobs. Let's get some random ones. I'm going to pick, like, let's get 4 random ones here and see what they do. Okay, so I'm going to take out this one, that Yuka Charger. Kind of cute looking, right? Let's go for it. Burn. Burn. All right, there we go. It actually drops some meat for us. So this is some meat in the mod. Gives you three hunger bars back. It's not pet food. It's, it's false on that one. All right, let's go with this. Oh, that is creepy. You are... You're cool. Let's go with this. So he's poisoned. Oh, look at that poison effect, guys. It is so painful. It even kills them. It's not a normal poison effect. So yeah, that makes this sword like super overpowered. All right, let's get this dude. The spy clops. That thing is so weird. You're, you're so weird. 20 health. It's just going to die from that. It's not strong enough to go against us. All right, let's get this one. So this one is the small hunk. Oh, that's the dude that attacked me before, isn't it? I believe this is the mushroom. They're like all over the place around here. So, you know, not very strong. There's actually larger ones I've seen too. Like they're freaky looking. So let's get some brand new mobs and try out some more. All right, guys. I got a bunch of brand new ones. I got five brand new mobs to test out here. So this one we're going to go with is the burnt miner. Yeah, he, he lights you on fire. It's so weird, like, checking my health, like, on the right side of the screen instead. It's, it's really bothers me. Like, I can't even tell what health I'm at because of it. 
All right, so we got some ash from him. And once again, this is going to be for, like, crafting stuff. So let's see here. Let us grab a sand crawler. I've seen these before. You look like you're from Divine RPG. You definitely do. Taste poison. That is so brutal. I'm loving the poison sword. All kinds of sand for us right there. All right, the next one, the ash hoarder. Okay, another fire effect. I'm dying, guys. It's hard to tell, but I'm definitely dying. Look, my health is at 50 right now. That's not good. All right, let's get another dude, Depths Hunter. That sounded cool. Are those your eyes? You don't have a head. That's weird. Really strange. It's all right. It's all right. Very good looking, obviously. Find you very attractive. Is, what is that on the ground? Some kind of weird cloud stuff. All right, we got one more mob here. The Magma Jump. I'm burning today. We're, we're dead. These mobs are pretty painful. Also, guys, we have some really cool ranged weapons here. So down here, we've got the Chaos Cannon. So it spawns a weak bouncing projectile. Should we get that? Let's go with that one. We'll get the Chaos Cannon. We'll get um, Staff of Hellstone. Doesn't seem to do anything special. I want something cool. Come on. They're all 10 range damage. They're all the same. But keep in mind, this just came out. I mean, they're probably going to like change stuff, balance it. This is specifically for teleporting. So I'll grab it, mess around with it after. Okay, so the coolest one. This looks like a pickaxe. Doom bringer. We'll go with that one. Staff of Hellstone. And let's go with like the little like green pitchfork. The Staff of Green Pace. Okay, so I got some brand new mobs, guys, but I do want revenge on the other dude. It's gonna happen. So, let's see. I've got him right here. Magma Giant. I'm gonna shoot you with something. Oh, by the way, I can't even remember what I'm in. I'm actually in creative right now, because it looks exactly the same. Which is kind of weird. I'm just not used to it. So, I must shoot him. And you're gonna notice this uses my essence. Like, on the screen, it's, like, going way down. The Boom Boom dude is coming after me. Alright, I got that guy down. So this right here, it's like a creeper, except with a bigger explosion. So, so go for it. Go for it. Look at that. So that's a pretty nice, like, size explosion. So from here, guys, we can shoot these. It does a decent amount of damage. It's got really cool particle effects, too. I mean, the stuff in this mod looks amazing, in my opinion. I'm so sorry, fat creeper TNT thing. And as you're noticing, they do drop TNT and also gunpowder. Okay, so let's see here. You're going to notice, like, my essence and dark energy is going back up as I use it. And I believe there are potions for it as well if you want to really, like, spam click this stuff. Okay, so the next one. Bigger mushroom. I can't feel it. Okay, I can't. I'm lying. I'm lying. You're going to die. All right, there we go. So let's try out the giant one. So this is, like, the biggest mushroom around. You don't want to mess with this mushroom, guys. You don't want to mess with it. I'm loving these particle effects. All right, so the next one is a hopper. Is it going to hop towards me? Are, are, you, are you... Hop. Hop, no? No? Okay, no, it's doing it now. It's hopping. I saw it hop. I got it. It's gone. Oh, I do have another boom boom. Just because I love this thing. Go for it. Come on. Just don't kill me. Don't kill me. You know what? You're dying. You're dying. And we got some free TNT. It's cool to have those, like, around your world. They seem to spawn in the desert because I've seen a ton. And you can collect so much TNT with that. So what I did is I grabbed the rest of the ranged weapons because they're so fun to mess around with. And I got some brand new mobs. And guys, I put on my other armor. So you're going to notice this one, it makes you jump super high, run fast, and no fall damage. And actually, I just realized I'm hungry. I'm so used to having my hunger bar like down here. It's something you definitely have to get used to if you're playing this mod because it's so much different. All right, so this right here, burning light, it's going to burn me to death. Go with that one last. Let's go with the Reaper. Oh god, it's, it's so skinny. You're so skinny. You look pathetic. You're going to die. Uh, there we go. So that dude is down. We got some coal. Cool. All right, let's go with this one. Magma Blaze. Serious Blaze right there. Don't want to mess with it. That's some cool effects. All right, you're going to die. All right, we got it. There's so many, like, cool ranged weapons. I'm out of essence. I am out of essence. That is not good. I think I shoved it into the cactus. That's how you take out a mob. Perfect. Cool. Okay, so the next one is going to be the Darkness Crawler. Yeah, I can, I can see why they named you that. I understand. Definitely understand. Luckily... I've got this powerful ranged weapon. My dark essence, not my dark essence, my essence is going back up pretty quickly, actually. So if you're patient with it, you can definitely take the mobs out. Okay, so this one is the spiked beast. I'm trying to show you guys, like, every single thing in this mod without taking, like, a super long time for it. Because, honestly, there's so much stuff to show with this one. All right, we got one more left. I'm sure it's going to burn me horribly. Go yeah, I, I knew you were going to do that. I knew you were. I'm not surprised or anything. All right, you were down. Cool. So I did want to test out this one from before, guys. This special, like, teleportation staff. I'm guessing. I don't really know. If I right-click, it's going to teleport me. Yeah, exactly like that. So this is actually cool for, like, teleporting around. But it looks like it uses 20 essence every time. So you can see, like, the bar goes way down every time I use it. 
I've got the rest of the mobs to test out, guys. So this one is the crisp. It's really tiny. I've, I've got other weapons we haven't used yet to kill him with. So that dude is down. And you're going to find them in the dimensions. If I didn't mention it, there's actually three brand new dimensions in this mod. And they're really cool looking. They look just like Divine RPG dimensions. It's been a while since I've played it, but the memories have returned. You're scary looking. Let's get this weapon. The Hell's Stone one before I burn to death here. Ah, uh, there we go. Okay, so this one is called the Insecto. <laughs> you look so stupid. I'm, I'm so sorry for saying that. All right, so we got this one right here. It is the robot. It's got 25 health and it's dead. You're dead. Thank you for the iron. I can make like a pickaxe out of that almost. I can make, can make a hoe out of it. Perfect. My favorite thing in Minecraft. All right, so we've got four left. We've got the turtle. It's obviously not going to fight us because, you know, it's a little animal. So thank you for the fish. You love fish, don't you? And we've got a little bunny. It's adorable looking. So sorry about that. And we have this, a fighter. All right, all right, you're, you're cool looking. Let's go with it. Fight me then. Fight me, bro. I've got, like, no help left at this point. It's so hard for me to watch it. I'm just so used to it at, like, the bottom of my screen. So the goal here is to kill the final one without dying. But I think I should probably eat something. Final mob. We definitely have this without death. All right, here we go. Oh, God, fire effect. I hate you so much. You're going to die. Okay, there we go. Okay, we're fine. We're, we're fine. We didn't die. It was, it was perfectly fine. That didn't even hurt at all, really, except for the burning flesh burning part. And next up, guys, we are checking out the bosses. There's three bosses. They each drop a trophy or possibly a statue because it's huge. It's like the most angry-looking trophy I've ever seen before. Are you all right? That is creepy. It's like it took a picture of him as he was dying. So this right here, it looks to be like a yak dude and cool-looking dude over here. So let's check these guys out. So these can actually only be spawned in the nether. So that's where we're going. You craft these and then you fight for your life. So let, come on, be a little quicker. Too impatient for portals. All right, guys, let's do this. It even says on the screen that I've traveled here. Awesome. Thank you for letting everyone know. Okay, so the first one, Calcia. I'm nervous about this. I don't know what's going to happen. All right, you, you don't look that bad. 250 health. Hit me. I just want to see what happens. Okay, it hurts. That's like 10% of my health. I'm beasting you with the poison sword. How's it feel? Actually, let's back up. Oh, God. We are blind. We just got a beast mode with these. We've got the ranged weapons. They're going to help so much against bosses, as you can tell right now. Like, he, he's so screwed. Okay, maybe not. Let's get this. Are right, you going down. Oh, the damage. It's amazing. You stand no chance. And look at this. Cool death animation. Plus, his trophies on the ground. Give, give me that. Give me all that stuff. All right, thank God he doesn't, like, blow up on death or something like that. That'd be horrible. All right, look at all that experience, guys. That is a ton. Did you see how many levels I just gained? What are we up to? We're up to... I think we're going to hit almost 80. We hit 79 levels after that. That is insane. All right, so that boss, definitely worth it. Got the cool statue right there. So the next one, it's called the Nether Beast. It sounds creepy, a little, a little bit creepy. Let's go for it. Come on, you're not scary at all, really. Giant yak. All right, so I'm in a beast mode with the ranged. Stands no chance. This is, like, such, like, a good way to fight. All right, so poison sword. It's gonna hurt you, bro. It's gonna hurt you bad. Really bad. All right, let's let it hit me. Oh, look at that. It launches you straight up, and it puts you on fire. So I'd recommend trying to stay away against some of these bosses, because they are gonna hurt you badly. Switch back to this weapon. Because, guys, each weapon I have right now for the ranged ones, one of them uses dark energy, the other one essence. So you can actually, like, switch back and forth, which seems to work really good for boss fights. Let's go with the death animation again. Oh, it dropped its sword. Give me that sword. This is the nether beast sword. This is how you get it. You kill this evil yak dude. And I'm imagining each one of these is going to give you tons of experience. Yeah, look at this. Almost 100. Come on. I want to get 100. Oh, for 100 levels after killing two bosses. That is sick. So we got one left. The withering beast. Let's go for it. You don't look that bad. Sort of. Oh, we got him. Just beast mode with this. Beast mode with it. All right, bro. You can hit me. You can hit me. We kind of look the same without a mask on, actually. My skin kind of looks like that. We, bo we both look like we have problems. That's fine. So when he hits me... Okay, I'm getting the wither effect, obviously. And we're going to be in a hole, which is not good. I don't want to be in a hole. I forgot I could jump like super high with this armor on. Try to get out of here. All right, perfect. Yeah, the poison sword is so overpowered. And you are dead. All right, there we go, guys. So you get a bunch of drops from these dudes. You get stuff for crafting like this right here, like portal gems, which I believe are for the next portal. So basically what you would do is you'd kill a boss and it would give you the materials to actually make the portal for the next dimension that you want to head to, which we're going to be checking out in a minute. And now, guys, we're on to the tools. I know it's not the most exciting thing in the entire mod, but they're good tools. Like, these are, these are nice tools, guys. 
So you can see right here, a bunch of different sets. We're not going to go over the puny stuff like pickaxes, shovels, axes, and hoes. It's not important. We got this right here. It's a multi-tool. So you can use it as everything plus every single one, infinite uses. How cool is that? And to actually get these, you kind of just like combine them all, which is pretty simple. So combine those, get a multi-tool, and save a lot of inventory space too. So I want to test a couple of these. This one, efficiency 12. Let's get the best one. This one's 13. 15. All right, we'll go with this one. We'll test the Flarium one. So I should be able to pretty much beast mode through anything. Let's let's get a tree first. I don't know why I choose you first. Yeah, guys. This is going to be sick. So when you go mining and stuff, it's going to be really helpful. You only need one tool. You don't need to, like, switch back and forth between, like, a shovel, a pickaxe, and stuff like that. You just own everything with this amazing tool. Also, it's important to mention you can definitely hoe stuff with this. Don't forget hoeing. It's, it's very important. All right, Spider, out of my way. So definitely vanilla mobs still spawn here. Okay, cool. So let's see. What is next? So now we're checking out the food, guys. So there's some food and some potions. I mentioned the potions before. So this actually replenishes your dark energy. One for 100, other for 300. And we have the same thing for essence. So basically, you want to, like, keep these around when you're probably fighting a boss. It's going to be really helpful. But one thing in this mod, guys, is golden food. We have golden steak. And then we have, like, the enchanted golden steak. So same thing for potatoes. And same thing for pork chops. Plus, we saw this before. It's like some normal meat. Not too exciting with that. But to make these, I'm going to show it really quick because it's the same thing as making like golden apples. So for this one, raw beef, gold around it. And then for this one, it's going to be blocks. It's the same on all these as I am showing right now. So I'm not lying. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a potion of hunger. I'm going to get so hungry and I'll show you guys how they work. I would imagine at this point, I'm probably hungry enough. I'm starving to death. I'm going to die here. All right, guys. So the way these work, very simple. Golden steak. I get some hunger back and I get absorption for two minutes. So it's pretty similar to, you know, a golden apple. It does the same thing with a golden potato. Check it out. Absorption for two minutes. And it does exactly the same thing with the pork chop. So really, it depends, like, what kind of food you like. If you like one more, then eat that food. It doesn't matter. I'm probably not going to pick the potato, but I'm, I'm not here to judge you. Not here to judge you at all. So this right here, the enchanted one. We'll go with the golden pork chop for that. So it's really similar to an enchanted golden apple. I'm getting regeneration. I'm getting resistance. I'm getting fire resistance and absorption. And every single one of these is the same. So the golden potato is going to do the same thing as you can see right here. And same with the golden steak. And you can actually eat these when you're not hungry. One of the cool things I love about the mods from these creators is they always add in decoration blocks for the builders out there. Because usually they get screwed horribly in mods. It's, it's a sad truth of mods, guys. So in front of us, a lot of different blocks. I'm going to slowly walk past them. Like, look at this right here. It's got pink blocks. Even like a pink stairs. And let's walk past every single one. There's even cool colors of bricks. Like any color you could think of. It's right here. A bunch of different fences. A couple different varieties. And let's see. Oh, this is my favorite one. Favorite stairs ever created. It's like balmy stairs. Come on. How could you not love that? And I believe there's a block for it right there. So I'm loving that. Those are some really cool blocks. So if you go this way, we got some more like red ones. Got a red door. This is the only door added in in this mod. And also, guys, there is a brand new enchantment table in this mod. You can enchant anything without bookcases around it, which is nice. So if I shove this in, I can get a level 30 enchant whatever I want, which is cool. What did I get? Got protection for and on breaking three. Cool. Oh, God, where'd it go? Oh, it dropped on the ground. Don't, don't do that to me. I thought it ate my chest plate for a second. I got nervous. So also, you know, you got your armor over here and a little mini crafting thing. So pretty cool. It's better than a normal enchantment table. So more blocks, more bricks, tons of them. So now, guys, you know what we're doing. We are heading into the dimensions. This is the first one right here. I'm loving the portal look. It makes me a little bit dizzy, but I love it. That's fine. So one thing you're going to need is the flame coin. You use it to light every portal. To make this, it's going to be gold and a diamond in the middle. So, you know, you got, like, the portal frame to make that. It's going to be stuff that drops off bosses, as you guys remember from before. So let's jump in. Let's go to the first dimension. There are three brand new ones. Look at those, like, rainbow dudes. Those are cool colors. So this place is islands. Keep that in mind. Don't just walk off the edge. That would be probably very bad. So we'll take a quick peek around this place. I'll show you guys there is tons of mobs. I probably should be in creative. All right, here we go. So around this area, there's some really cool trees, like a giant, like special jungle tree that's red. I like it. And tons of mobs everywhere you look. I've noticed a little bit of lag in these dimensions, but keep in mind, you know, it's a brand new mod. It's brand new. They just got this out today. So another tree over here, a different color. There isn't too much. I mean, there's ore and stuff you're going to find around in a lot of mobs. You're probably going to need the drops off these mobs to progress through the dimensions as well. All right, guys, we are in the next dimension now. And this one is called the Depths. And actually, the last one, it was called Iyuka or something like that. Probably saying that correct right now. So this one is extremely dark. I recommend night vision. Without it, 
It's gonna be way too dark. You're gonna have like these little like dudes attacking you that you can barely see. I mean, that thing is creepy. You don't want that biting your feet. So in this dimension, guys, once again, you're gonna be traveling around, getting cool ore for like weapons and armor and killing these mobs that have very important drops. But really, there isn't too much excitement going on that I've seen in the dimension at the moment. There is some trees. It's kind of cool looking, actually. It's actually a really awesome looking tree. But once again, it's islands, guys. Be careful. Don't fall off the end. It's going to be really painful. Just to show you guys real quick, you make this the same way. It's going to be the flame coin and also you need the depths portal frame, which is going to come from a bunch of these like special portal gems, which I believe drop off the bosses. So what we're going to do is go into this one. So this portal is actually found in the nether. You don't construct it yourself. It's actually going to be in a structure in the nether. It's kind of just, you know, like some nether bricks around it. It's pretty simple. Like you'll notice it. It's not going to be like hidden or something like that. So let's jump in here and head into another very creepy dimension. This one, guys, is completely like hell. This is hell. I'm pretty sure on that there is fire everywhere. It's pretty horrible. It's actually called the boiling point. Oh, God. There's like smoke coming off of it. Looks terrifying. And this is where you're going to find all kinds of mobs that are going to light you on fire. Bring fire resistance or get the armor that gives you that. Really going to need that badly. And one thing about this dimension, it's not islands. It actually has like cool like high up areas. So if you did want to make a house in a cool dimension, I'm thinking go high guys. Go high or go home as they say. They definitely say that. So if you go up here, if you put like a house or something, you could like look down on this really cool looking area. I think it could be epic. But as you can tell, it's a little bit laggy at the moment. They're probably going to fix that and work on stuff like that. But yeah, that is pretty much all there is to show in here. So guys, that is pretty much all there is to show with this mod, as in three new dimensions, a bunch of awesome stuff to mess around with, definitely turns Minecraft into an RPG. If you want to check this one out, of course, the download will be in the description. And if you enjoyed the review and the commentary, guys, drop a like and subscribe, it's always appreciated. I put out Minecraft videos every day of the week and a bunch of modded stuff. And yeah guys, I'll see you next time, peace out.